You know, uh, uh yeah. Mm. A lot of people be talking, bro. But hell to be putting, hell to really be putting in that yeah, work. Yeah, he really bro. do be putting it in faith. I ain't gonna lie. Facts. He said, "I'm." He said, "Uh oh, uh oh, Clipper Darrell in the building." What's, What's up, up Clipper? Man? What's up, What's man? What's up, man? <laughs> Stuff, man. What's happening with that? What's up, man? <laughs> hey, we all straight yard, man. Support the Clippers right now with the Clippers, man. What you got on the game tonight, man? Hey, bro. I mean, that game, that game was good, man. The game was yeah. a good, great game. They played hard, and that's all we can ask for. Yeah, 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 yeah. We played hard, man. I didn't, I, 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 I didn't like the foul calls, man, that we got today, man. I didn't like the foul calls we had today, man. Especially. Yeah, if, yeah. if you notice, man, different referees call different things, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we're going to get our groove, man. We, we're in the eighth seat no matter what, so it don't even matter. Uh -huh. right, yeah. right. That's yeah. what I was yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I want to ask you, man, Um, you know, uh, what's your whole reaction, you know what I'm saying, to this season, man? Being without Kawhi Leonard, being out with Paul George, man, Um, how enjoy – how enjoyable it was to watch this Clippers team, just the role players, you know what I'm saying, and the way that Ty Lue has been coaching his team and stuff like that. What, what was your whole reaction to, to the season missing, you know, your two-star players, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George? I mean, you know, of course, man, you know, y'all y'all already see me. I post it every day, man. Ty yeah. Lue, coach of the year, man. He got these guys believing, man. And, you know, you know the one thing, you know how – it reminds me, you know, when your girl, when you, when your girl rubs your head and uh -huh. she tells you everything gonna be okay, yeah, and you feel like you can just conquer the world. That's what I. Uh -huh. That's what I. That's how I look look at with Tyron Lue, man. Yeah, yeah. Tyron Lue, you know what I'm saying? He's a great X's and out X's and O coach, man. He makes great adjustments. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Tyron Lue did his thing throughout the majority of the season. Now you got uh, Paul George coming back, possibly Norman Powell coming back, and Kawhi Leonard coming back, man. I'm telling you, man, when this team's healthy, man. Uh, we're going to be a force to be reckoned, man. This is a great team. I think this is the best team, best roster. Do you, do you believe that this is the best roster that this Clipper team ever had since you being a fan of your Los Angeles Clippers? You know, I'm not going to say that. I, I think this is a, a generational change. I uh -huh. think that since we have since we have a great coach now uh -huh. uh, and then players that want to be here, players that that uh, that want to win, and, and, uh -huh. and that was the difference. Guys before, they wanted to win, but it was fun for them. You know, um, when you come to a Clipper game, it was all about fun, man. And we, our expectations wasn't as high. Now, it's like, yeah. man, our expectations are so high, man, it's through the roof right now, man. It's like championship or bust now, basically. Yeah, facts. Championship or bust, man. Championship or bust. I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, you got any questions, show? Y'all got any questions for, for Clipper Derail, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how many? Hey, hey, Clipper, let's see here, man. How many guys do you go to all the home games? Home or you go to, you go to, you travel with the team. Or, I, know, I got a lot of respect for you because I know you a self-made. You got an endorsement just from being a super fan, like facts. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy though, man. Oh, in twenty-three seasons, going on twenty-four, man. It, actually, this is my twenty-fourth season. I've been a Clipper fan for twenty-nine. But mm. I've only missed two. I've only missed two home games in twenty three seasons. Mm. Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you travel when they travel, or are you just sometimes? Uh, I I used to. I used to travel in my earlier days, you yeah. know. And I used to get we we I I used to do the, like the West Coast trips, like you know the Phoenix, the Golden State Warriors. You know what I'm saying? Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, now, now I only do, I only do like when, when we went to the playoffs and the Western Conference Finals, I had to be there. I wanted to be a part of it. Oh, so I was, man, I'll never forget. I seen you in there. Yeah. I seen you in there. I seen yeah, you in I, there. I, oh, I, we were talking about, man. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was something, man. I'll never forget that. What, i never forget that. What made you a Clipper fan? Like, what decided you to become? Because everybody from LA, man, I like the fans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. What made you a Clipper fan, man? Tell and I got, fired, I got fired from a job, right? And the uh -huh. guy told me I never mount anything in life. Seeing mm -hmm. how you get fired, you feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. Clipper yeah. game comes on. You, see, you know, I, I, I take that back. Let me let me rewind it. You know, you get fired. You you go home. I plopped on the couch, turned the TV on. Clipper game comes on. They said the same thing about them. How horrible they was, how they never mount anything. 
And I said, this is going to be my team. We're going to ride and die together. Uh-huh. Uh, so I, I became a fan. I respect that. And from that day forward, and I used to listen to Ralph Lawler coming on, and just uh-huh. we just had a good time, man. And then when I can actually afford season tickets, bro, it was it was over. I never looked back. Facts. I I agree. Uh, listen, I, I respect that, man. Uh, I feel like this time this time of day, man. When you look at the Clippers, I think that everybody around LA, man, starting to put some respect on the Clippers, man. They know that this oh, team yes, right man. now, man, oh, yeah. is can, can 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 compete for a championship, man. And top to bottom, man, we got we got all what it takes, man. Um, what was your reaction? You know, what I'm saying when we had when we got the acquisitions of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. When, when, when you found yeah, out them two question. star players was coming to LA, man, what was your reaction? Because I know y'all didn't y'all didn't see my video, man. I yeah, went yeah. both. Yeah. I went both <laughs> crazy. At first, I had to go cut Snoop out. You know, that's my dog. Yeah. You know, I had to tell him, and uh, I went down. I, I was running around the neighborhood. My, my neighbors thought I was crazy. And then I jumped in the car, got dressed. I was because I was going to Vegas the next day, uh-huh. and because that's when the Clippers and the Lakers were going to play against each other. Mm-hmm. So I jump in the car, go all the way downtown to the Stable Center, and had to do a video there, man. And yeah. man, it was bro that feeling. I never want to, you know what I mean? Next to my kids being born, man. Yeah. Bro, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful feeling, man. It, it was yeah. a beautiful feeling. It was they dropped that name bomb in the middle, in the now, middle now, of the now, night, now, night, too. Yeah. I didn't now, get that. Now, speaking of. Hey, what? Now, go ahead, Sean. Oh, you, go ahead, Sean. Yeah, speaking of, do you think, I, mean, I got a question. Do you think our guy going to come back this year? Okay. Let me explain something to you. When he get back, we all go go, baby. Y'all heard it. Hey, Cooper Bear. Hey, we got we got a song over here. We be singing. Y'all gonna? We got a song over here. We be singing. It say, "We ain't going. We ain't going no better." We can't be stopped now. We could for life. That's like that's our song. That. Every time, listen. Every time we we when we beat on them Lakers, every time when we beat on you know these teams that we, we that we were supposed to lose this season, man, we come in, we be hype every time, man. After the Clipper games, man, real tough, man. And uh, you know, what I'm saying it been, it's it's you know, it's I'm glad to see that Paul George be able to come back, man, and hopefully man. see you know Norman Powell and Kawhi Leonard come back, so this team can make another crack at it, man. Uh, about last year, man, uh, Clippers were down 2-0. Against the Dallas Mavericks, they were down 2-0 against the Utah Jazz. What was your reaction? Did you thought it was over? Did you thought that uh you know that uh that the Clippers you know must out this uh serious man with the win man? What's your reaction when the Clippers was down 2-0? And what's your reaction to the playoff run last year as well? When when they was down 2-0, you you get a little worried. You do you do you do, you yep. do start to think negative thoughts, but. I believe that I believe so much in this team, mm-hmm. and with Ty, Tyron Lue at the helm, bro, I seen my guys. Man, they went down to Dallas and handled business. Man, Ky, um, you know Kawhi Leonard led the team, man, and uh, you know, see the one thing that I love about this team, and y'all, I know y'all gonna agree with me on this, man. It ain't no selfish players, man. Right. No. No. They they play yeah. as a team. When they when they win as a team, they lose as a team. And the one thing that I love when I hear Paul George and I hear Kawhi, they're the superstars. They make all the money, yes. But they always say, man, thank you, Reggie Jackson. Thank you, Coffee. Thank you. You know, and that's what I love, man, the camaraderie and the friendships that these guys have, man, that it's not all about them. This is a team game, man. You know, we watch, I watch Kobe Bryant get five championships here in L.A., man. Mm -hmm. And to be able to meet him, and to see how he is away from the away from the game, and then the, you know, and see how he can drive. Because he said, "Man, we gotta we gotta thank all fifteen men in order to win this." Man, it takes just because you don't see them dudes on the court. Just because you don't see them dudes on the court, they do a lot in practice to help us win. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, and we didn't have that. Hold on, move. We didn't have that camaraderie, mm-hmm. unity, and teamwork in that first year. You know, we had a lot of. Double agents on our squad, man. 
Mm. So we got we once we got mm. him, mm. you could tell it was a total different. Year two was totally different than year one. But let me let me ask you a question though. Who was the coach of that year? Doc Glenn Rivers. Rivers. Glenn yeah. Rivers. Yeah. That's what that's, that's why I call that's why I call him Glenn because the doctor knows what he's doing. There you go. Hey, clip it there. Hey, I'm calling hey, Glenn Rivers all the time. Man, hey, sometime, look. Hey, from now on, he gonna say. Clifford Darrell said the same thing. You should never say I said that. the same thing. I've been calling him Glenn Rivers. They just said I'm on count on 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 Clifford Darrell. He said and he said and he said that too. He was like, you said the same thing show said. Who's our coach the first year? You right. I mean, oh, that is right though. That, that yeah, is, yeah. That ain't no yeah. See what I'm saying? Y'all not lying about that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking yeah. of, hey, hey, look, how you felt? I'm gonna tell you how I felt. I was so depressed. It, it, it was so it was so depressed and watching this. A storm came and knocked my TV out, and I was happy about it. Yeah. When we blew that three-one lead, I ain't oh. over there. I was so depressed, bro. And Man. when it came to yeah, third court, I, ain't gonna I lie. started to realize yeah. how, how do you feel, homie? Hey man, I got killed, man. Snoop killed me on social media. Ice yeah. Cube problem. <laughs> all, all, all my all my guys, man, they killed me, man. And by by the Lakers winning the championship that year, oh. it broke my heart, man. Because I knew I knew the yeah, thing that. The thing is, I just I just did some uh some t-shirts, right? And uh -huh. if you look on my Instagram, I just did some t-shirts that had Coach of the Year with, with Tyron Lou Face on it. And then uh -huh. I got Mr. Adjustments on the back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the man know how to make adjustments on the fly. That's yeah. That's a fact. That's yeah. a whole fact. You yeah. see what I'm saying? He took a team, he took a team, he took a uh teams that didn't we didn't have no big names. Mm -hmm. And made them and made them play together, and work together, and we in the eighth seed of the playoffs, man. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I agree. The adjustments that Tyron Lou made, man, he easily should be coach of the year, man. He should be nah, coach of the year. I've been, I've been saying that. He's yeah. coach of the year because nobody is missing all that talent that Tyron Lou had, man. Exactly. Guys in and out of the lineup, we have the, the toughest schedule, and for us to. Be in the play-in tournament and then getting you know Paul George back and all them other guys back, man, man, he's the man, he's coach of the year, man, without a doubt. And his adjustments, the, his in-game adjustments, guys, the thing that he makes guys around him, like coach guys around him better is man. Tyron Tyron Lewis should he deserve coach of the year, man? Uh, uh, what have you seen the, the new stadium of the uh, Intuit Dome the Intuit that's Dome, built in yeah. Inglewood, California. Yeah. And what was your whole reaction when the Clippers hey. announced that we're finally getting our stadium, man? What you got on that, man? I was there, baby. I, I dug the dirt up, baby. I got the <laughs> dirt. I got the shovel. Me and Chuck the Condor was together. Man, being being there, it was it was off the chain. And seeing this stadium being built, like right now, man, they, the, the dirt is so deep down, man. They, I mean, the hole is so deep down, it's crazy. But that be able to have our own stadium, our own recognition is going to be unbelievable, man. And, and you know, and the one thing about Bomber, Bomber just wants to win. You know what That's I'm saying? He, he's, a, he's a fan's owner. He's, he's one of – man, he, he loves this game just like we do. Mm -hmm. I got a question. So, so you really is, is – uh, is, uh, cool with Snoop and Ice Cube and they be giving you a hard time, man. Oh yeah, all the time, man. All the time, man. <laughs> hey, Q, Q, hey, it's so bad with Q. Q won't even let me come on his. Uh, they, they was uh, people was trying to let let me host one of his big three events, right? Uh -huh. He won't even let me do it because I'm a Clipper. That's how. That's how much he don't like the Clippers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so you've been up to next. So you've been like uh, next to Steve Bomber. Like you've actually met him and. And see what kind of person he is, stuff like that. Definitely, man. I hey, when Steve Ballmer first came to the Clippers, man, and we we played the Lakers and the Clippers, it was the Lakers home game. I sat mm -hmm. two seats from Steve Ballmer, mm -hmm. and it was bananas, man. I was chest bumping him. He was he he was doing the I was doing the Let's Go Clippers chance. He's doing the defense chance, man, bro. It was like sitting next to your best friend, man. I was like, man, this is yeah, unbelievable. He yeah, he look like he a, a, a yeah, cool he's like energy. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. Steve Barmer wants to win. Uh, I got a, I got a, I got a fan question. Uh, somebody asked you who is the great? What is the great? What's the best Clipper team of all time in your opinion? You know what though? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer that question because uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm -hmm. Every I love all my players, 
Mm-hmm. Every anybody that put on that that red, white, and blue uniform, I got love for you. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a different generation because when you think about it, right? What you mm-hmm. did, what you did at twenty, you're not gonna do at thirty. What you mm-hmm. do at thirty, you're not gonna do at forty. So I believe that it was a learning curve for everything. Uh, when 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 Donald Sterling owned the team, it was like entertainment for him. Mm-hmm. It was just kick back. You know what I'm saying? It was very affordable for everybody to come because, you know, we didn't have no big payroll. Mm-hmm. So, but now having Steve Ballmer there, you know, he, he you know, they, there's no expense that he won't, he won't make. Mm-hmm. But to, to, to say, you know, which Clipper team is kind of hard, man. I mean, I got, I got love for everybody, man. You know, to Q Richardson and Darius Miles with the, with the head bump, you know, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. still friends. I mean, those are my guys still, man, with Corey McGetty, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, he be doing post game on the Clippers. He be doing the yeah. post game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw, I so, saw he snuck up in his house. Did he, when he, he ran after you, didn't he? Huh? When you snuck up at Corey McGetty's house, I saw the uh, video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, hey, me, me, me and Corey been friends for so long, man. That's my dude, man. You know what I'm saying? I. I got nothing but love for him, him and his wife and his family, man, mom and dad. Those are the most realest, richest people that have that that mom and dad. But meeting Paul George, mom and dad, real people. Meeting mm-hmm. Kawhi's mom, real mm-hmm. people. She mm-hmm. like, she's sweet, man. She's like she's a sweet woman. Kawhi man, and PPG mom. When I when I when I meet people, man, you know, you 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 you, you know you Turn off a vibe. It's not about us being celebrity. It's not. A, it's about just talking real with two people, and you right. could just feel it. You could just feel the energy in the building. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I met. It, it was crazy because when Norman Powell came, I met his mom. Right, mm-hmm. and she wanted to take a picture with me. I said, "Do you know who your son is?" <laughs> <laughs> but it was crazy though for me, though, man. Yeah. But I got nothing but love for everybody, man. I I appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, because because without you, without you, there's no me. If yeah. y'all don't cheer with me, I wouldn't be where I'm at. That's yeah. why y'all always see me giving back. That's why y'all always see me at different places. That's why y'all see me giving away tickets because of that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I appreciate everybody that got me to this point that I am today. Yeah. Somebody asked uh, another fan question. Somebody asked uh, if there's one Clipper that you regret leaving, like with this one player that you regret leaving the Clippers, who would it be? You know what, though, man? And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. And the, the one oh, regret so I do, but, oh, but I understand good. why he left and I understand uh, why they couldn't sign him, was Patrick Beverly. Patrick, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Patrick Mr. Beverly. Mr. Man, I was Mr. mad Mr. when he left. I, I was mad when Patrick Beverly left, man. I, I was, yeah, I was yeah, really, yeah, really. Yeah, we call, we call him Project he, Pat around these parts. Yeah, man. We yeah. Call him Patrick Pat Beverly, he, he seemed like well, he man. loves, he loves being a Clipper, man. Yeah. He loves being a Clipper, yeah. and he represents yeah. us. He like he he always had that underdog mentality, that dog mentality, man. That that yeah. that's the that's the chemistry, that's the continuity of our team, that's the identity of our team, man. And and it sucks, mm-hmm. you know, Patrick Beverly leaving his team, man. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, so. but I, but I understood it. I, un- I understood it. I, I understood where they was going with it because yeah. see, now you have you have Norman Powell, you have Covington, you got uh-huh. three defensive juggernauts, man, and with 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 Powell and Covington, then you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. That's four dudes, man. Come on, baby, man. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, hey, I got a question. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, I was gonna tell, you, I was gonna tell you to, to to ask that question right there, Mook. But I got one question. So I know you met PG Kawhi, you know uh, Reggie, sir, all them type of guys. Mook, uh, uh, Norman Powell. How how is Kawhi and PG? What what type of guys are they? I mean, because we trip on them because yeah. like Kawhi is our favorite player. That's yeah, part of the reason right. why we Clippers. Uh, Kawhi right. is our favorite player, you know, just period in the league. Like, how how is Kawhi and, and PG and those guys like they down to earth guy? Because I hear a lot of things about Kawhi, like Kawhi real down to earth, like funny, when, like cool dude. PG PG put me in his Nike commercial. Um, Kawhi put me in his New Balance stuff. Um, I did a, I did a lot of hosting for when he when his shoe release came out when he first became a Clipper. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so he, he, of course, they look out for me. But personally, man, to talk to them guys, man, it's like it's like talking to you. It's like talking to your little brothers, man. You know, mm-hmm. they're very, they're very. Uh, with, with Paul George, very outgoing, very talkative. You know, uh, sweet His family off the chain, man. His best friend, Miles, love him. You know, is you can see the family in him. Mm-hmm. And, and and with Kawhi, Kawhi is just Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like to me when you go to Kawhi and you just have a conversation, you keep that conversation to yourself. Yeah, it's one right, of them. Right. It's, it's one of them situations. Like people got to understand when you have a chance to meet big time people and take that conversation. Don't film it. Don't take pictures. Don't do none of that. Just keep it to yourself, man, and just have fun with it, man. I have so many memories with people that I've had con- like huge conversations with, man. You know, and and it's crazy. I, t- I of course I'm gonna take a picture with them, but. To, to blast it on what they talk to me about to me it, it was between me and that person you know like i've had conversations with jerry west mm-hmm. jerry west gave me the best five minutes of my life bro and mm-hmm. it, and the knowledge that he gave me in five minutes was unbelievable man so all i'm saying is like when you meet these guys man sometimes these guys just want to be treated humanly man and with respect that's it you know like i look at like that's why the media is so screwed up because everybody wants to be, you know, the got you moment. Oh, or the first person with the news. Sometimes, right. man, you can have the news already, you know, and just, yeah. just relax with it, man. And, and, you know, you don't have to be the first person, you know, when you get an opportunity to be around these players, man, it's two things that I've learned being around rich people, man, and players and celebs and stuff. Two things. Never bring your friends around. <laughs> And never ask for money, and you got friends for life, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, because yeah, one, man. one, one thing I've learned: rich people want to help you, not make you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Fact, facts. If you, uh, if you, you know, yeah. if you broke already, would you, would you ask me for money for? But if you're already doing something, they mm-hmm. help you further. That's support. That's great, right. great point. Mm-hmm. That's 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 yeah. a great point. You're not supposed to be asking for anybody for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Somebody asked. Somebody asked. This is a great did... question right here, though. Right. I want to read this one. No, uh, no, yeah. no. I'm talking to one you about to read. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Some. I got another fan question. Somebody asked, "What you think happened with the Lob City Clippers? Why I didn't? Why you think they didn't reach their potential in winning the championship? Uh, what went on with the Lob City Clippers, man? In your opinion, and why they failed to reach their potential in winning the championship?" Because... Because Glenn Rivers became Hollywood and not became, <laughs> and, and, and not became a coach. That's why. There you, go. That was a, you know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. You know, he was out there. He was running around. That's why he got a divorce. You know, mm-hmm. not to put his business out there, man, you know. But <laughs> my thing is, my you can't come to L.A. You can't come to L.A., you know, trying to pr- trying to pursue something else. Get get your goals, get get your situation. It's like I'm gonna show you for an example. You got two kids, right? Mm-hmm. And you love them both, but you tell them two different things so they won't be mad at each other. But it's basically it's the same thing to both of them. Instead of bringing them together, so they can get along. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'm saying two kids by two different women. Now you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So with CP3 and Blake. That could have been squashed a long time ago. Get their asses yep. in the and in the, in the, get their butts in the in the in the room with me, and I talk to them, and that stuff would have been squashed. But you can't tell Blake one thing and then tell Chris one thing, and that's it. You got to tell them both together, because all right. you're doing is yep. all you just don't want nobody to be mad at you. It's about respect, man. You know what I say is what I say is what I do is what I do. You know. Mm-hmm. People, yeah, yeah. What people don't right. understand is, is that you have to, as a coach, you're a leader. People follow your lead. As a fan, people follow me, what I do in the state, in, in the in the arena. That's why I do the right thing. I, I, you know, I don't hey, care. So I don't, hey, he buffing you know, up. Because he know, hey, you know, is it me or he buffing up? I'm the, I'm the only yeah, now nah, he buffing a little bit. Oh. 
They said I'm a, I'm the one of the clearest right. hecklers that's still around. Uh huh. Hey, move. Yeah. Ask him that question on the screen, bro. Uh, he said, "What is the Clipper? What is the greatest Clipper game you have ever experienced or watched?" I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Going to the Western Conference Finals, bro. Game yeah. game uh, six, facts. round two. Yep. Game six, yeah. round I, two. I, I, I knew you were going to say that I, game. I knew you. I cried. Yeah. I cried like yeah. a little bit. I, I I literally cried, man. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. You know that yeah. we actually going our first time going to the Western Conference Finals. Now, this is tw- This that was twenty eight seasons for me, man. And to actually get to the Western Conference Finals, I was mad. I was just, I was ecstatic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, save some of them tears when we win the championship, man. Oh, bro, yeah, bro. I got, I got yeah. plenty of them, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Championship. A lot of people yeah. want to go hiding and ducking, man. Well, I know you're gonna be on the boat, Clipper Derek. I know you're hey, hey, Clipper Derek. They be killing us on YouTube, Clipper. Hey, Clipper Derek. They be killing us on YouTube. Oh, they always do, bro. It, you know, it is what it is. Being a Clipper fan, man, is the hardest thing in the world, man. But you know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, man, we love, we love, we passionate, and we love our team. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. We, love, we, we follow the Clippers. We just don't want one, no, one person. We want the whole team as a collective to win. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, that's 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 great. Uh, somebody asked this, uh, do you think Kawhi is coming back for this Clippers team? Uh you know, you already answered that, but uh, you know, what I'm saying when I get back when he get back, <laughs> he get back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He get back when he get back, man. We tell him, know tell him, read between the lines, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, now, yeah, but yeah. check this out, though. Look, we got Paul George back, right? Now, uh-huh. look, and uh, Norman Powell's coming back next week. <laughs> okay. 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 Now, if, if, bro, if Kawhi comes back, mm-hmm. it's a wrap. I'm telling you. It is. 20, it is. 22. This is right. 2022 LA Clippers NBA champion. Give us a chip. Give us a chip. That's, that, right. that's all they got to do. That's all they got to do. Man, the, man, man, it's, it's, it up. Up. the West okay. is watered down. It's watered yeah. down, right? So when yeah. you bring, when you bring Kawhi, and you bring PG and we healthy as collective, man. You got to think about it, man. Our team missing three starters took the Phoenix Suns six games. Took us six games. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And we, were, what, we was arguing, what, two calls away from going into the Western, going to the NBA Finals. So I'm telling you, man, if we're healthy, man, I don't think nobody, you know, it's going to be a couple of teams that, you know, will give us a, ch- a challenge. But right now, we should be the favorites. We should be favorites. We should be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Mm-hmm. If Kawhi comes back this year, Mm-hmm. You know what my theme song going to be? What? <laughs> MC Hammer, baby. You can't touch this. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, look, I'm going to tell you something. Because a lot of people feel like a lot of people feel like we can't beat the Grizzlies. But, hey, I hey. I ain't scared of nobody, man. If we got Paul George right. and Powell back, right. oh my right. goodness, man. I'm not I'm not scared right. of nobody. Because our bench is our bench is deep. Our bench is so so deep. Now, now let me ask you something about what Reggie Jackson said. Well, Reggie Jackson said, uh, I believe three, I feel like a couple of weeks ago when we played man, the Lakers after our game. Uh <clears throat> he said that uh that the Lakers might be, you know, you know, the uh the popular team out LA, but the Clippers are the hearts of LA. Do you agree with Reggie Jackson saying, you know, saying that the Clippers are the hearts of LA? Man, you know what? I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. But every thousand Laker fans, it's about four or five Clipper fans. So you uh-huh. make the decision on that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Reggie, man, Reggie Hart is well good. Reggie's received well, but you know what I'm saying? This is this is this is definitely a Laker town, man. Wherever I go, I drive my Clipper car, man. I'm getting honked at. I'm getting the middle finger. You know, y'all y'all will never win nothing. I mean, you read you y'all read my social media every day, so y'all know. Yeah, yeah. You know, so <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. So to say, now to be a Clipper fan, we do got heart, and we fight. We fight to the end, no matter what. 
But at the end of the day, man, it's about winning the championship too. So we yeah. we got to get one under our belts, and then then we could talk to Hart, and we then we can say, you know, we here, we here. So you don't you don't agree with Reggie when he say that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I see what Reggie was talking I love, about. I love Reggie. Oh, I, I I understand what Reggie's talking about because he's giving everybody hope. But me being in LA, uh -huh. me being from LA, I see it every day. You know what I'm saying? Yep. To say yep. the heart, not right yeah. not, as of right now, I can't say. I love Reggie though. Don't get me wrong. Reggie's my dude. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But when you don't live here, you can uh -huh. say what you want to say. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't come to your town and tell you that the Clippers are the heart of where y'all from. You know what I'm saying? Or that team that's yeah. there is the heart. I, I don't know because I'm not there. Reggie's only been here a couple of years. So it's a difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, Clip Dad, let me ask you a question. Why you think Stephen A. Smith be hating on us, man? Why you always got some hate for Kawhi Leonard? What is that? That's, 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 Kawhi. What's that's that with Kawhi Leonard? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what he do. Because Kawhi won't talk to him. That's all. There you go. Yeah. See, you see I told you, Showtime. I told <laughs> you. Yeah. you know, he, he he, he Stephen A. Smith, man. He won't, give that dude no, he won't give him no interview, man. Kawhi don't yeah. move that dude, man. Uh -huh. Because, because you know what, you know what I hate when when he gets on TV, right? I dislike when he does this. When a yeah. player gives you sensitive information and you tell the world what he said, right, bro? These players don't need them to tell what they say. They can get on their own social media and do it themselves if they wanted you right. to tell. Mm -hmm. that's a you know what I'm saying? So that's what that that that's why. I be, and you notice now, Stephen A. don't get no interviews from players no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stephen somebody asked all the players before. Somebody the players asked, don't uh, trust him anymore, man. Facts. Somebody asked, uh, "What is one team in the West he feel they can challenge a fully healthy Clippers team?" Nobody. If we got our whole team back, nobody can touch us. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. If we, got a, if, we, if we got Paul George, Powell, and the wide back, nobody can touch us, baby. I'm telling you. Hey, 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 Clipper Dare. I'm I've been the biggest Luke Kennard support on here. People was calling me mm -hmm. crazy. When we, yeah. when we traded um Landry <laughs> Shaman. I said, hey, we got an upgrade. Oh, oh, Luke Kennard ain't nothing. He ain't this. Man, I've been riding that thing. Now everybody want to jump on the uh, bandwagon now on oh, Luke Kennard. Uh, uh, yeah, one of my close man. friends, man, man, she loved Luke Kennard. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Yeah. He said, "Who's that number five? <laughs> Facts. Facts. Who you think? Hey, hey, I want, I want to, because uh, I want to ask all. Who do you think the greatest Clippers player you have ever seen? Man, who you think? Is the greatest Clipper player on, Clipper of all time. Yeah, Clipper Come, on, Come on, man. I want to hear it. Come on, hey. man. As long as you put on that red, white, and blue uniform, I got ah. love for you, baby. Ah. You got to give an answer, man. Come on. Come on we I can't. Answer, you can't get an I answer. Can't. Uh, I can't because everybody's been, everybody's been a, a different part. You know, because you can look at Eric Pajkowski. You can look at Danny Manning. You can look at Lloyd Vaughn. You can look at Corey McGetty. Like, everybody brought something different to the team. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a great because we never won anything. We didn't have a leader because we never won anything. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I can't, I, we don't, I can't say the greatest Clipper of all time. Mm -hmm. But so I got love fair. for everybody that put on that red, white, and blue uniform. I know yeah. we do, man. Who gonna be the best? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. Hey, Clipper Durham, know why you start laughing? He don't know who he is right now. <laughs> 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 Boy, man, get paid. Man. Get paid. Man. So you being a Clipper fan, did the Clippers give you like uh, limited tickets to the games? You know what I'm saying to represent the Clipper Nation. Well, uh, we we came we we came to an understanding in 2012 when Donald Sterling uh, owned the team. I give them three appearances, whatever they want me to do, and they give me a they they give me a season ticket to the to the to the arena. So, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. You, man, yeah. you, so I, man, you, listen, you you the Clipper legend. Everybody knows you because you 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 put it on for the Clipper fans, man. Real talk, man. And uh, you know, uh, as much as we was getting criticized, but I feel like last year we didn't get no respect for the media at all. Me, everybody didn't give us no respect. They they criticized Paul George. 
They criticized Kawhi. They criticized the whole Clipper uh, teammates. The Clipper, they criticized the whole Clipper team, man. And I feel like last year when they see how resilient and how immensely tough this team is, bro, and, 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 and the way that we advanced to the Western Conference Finals, I feel like everybody put more respect on the Clippers' name just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially when we blew that 3-1, 3-1 lead in the bubble, man. Uh, we was the most criticized team in the NBA, man. They Every day, every video, you know, from, from Stephen A. Smith to Nick Wright to Shannon Sharp, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to uh, everybody, man, that was, you know, criticizing the Clippers for blowing the 3-1 lead. Yep. Last year, man, it was really special. And it sucks that injuries was the reason why we didn't reach, we didn't hold that gold thing, man. I feel like last year was a – a good year for us. Explain, you know, mm-hmm. what, how, what, in one word, how would you describe last year for the Clippers, man? Heart throbbing. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Because we, we accomplished great things. Mm-hmm. We just didn't reach, we, we, we reached one point. We went to the Western Conference Finals. We've never been there. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You got hey, you got to crawl before you walk. You got to walk before you run. So come on, let's go. Yeah, man, I agree. I agree. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what I always you know say about this this Clippers team this year is that we don't fight. We 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 fight. We don't give up. We don't give up, man. There's times where we have the most 25 point comebacks this season out of any team, man, because we yeah. just don't give up. You know what I'm saying? We fight with a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? You know, if we just come that, up that comes and, from coaching, though. That comes yeah. from great coaching. That comes from people believing in one another, man. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. It means a lot, bro. Like now, man, I'm telling you, man. When you when you go home tonight, or if you're at home and and you know, when you can't pay a bill and you can't pay your rent, or something's going wrong at your job, and your girl rubs that head, bro. And say, baby, everything gonna be all right. Let's pray together. Let's do let's do this, bro. Man, I'm telling you, man, all your problems are gone, man. When you got a team that believes in you, bro, it's, uh, it, it, man, it ain't it ain't nothing that you can't accomplish, man. That goes yeah. from your mama, your daddy, your girl, your kids, everybody. That's your team. Facts. Right. I when I look at the team, though, I, I feel like them dudes generally like being around each other. They really, yeah. they Come really on like, now. You can yeah. say it. Uh-huh. You, you, it don't take a, it don't take a lot to see, it. and even in the press game, me watching Reggie Jackson cry out of that mm-hmm. um, game six, you know that that showed you how much it, it meant. That because you got to think about that, Reggie Jackson, he had one foot out the lead. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah, yeah. Um, Everybody, did. Glenn, Glenn Rivers, he he did not use him the, the right way the first year. Tyron, <laughs> come on, man, he he didn't make no adjustments, man. It ain't no way we should have lost three three games in a row. No way. Right. No way. No, no adjustments. Then no he tra- adjustments. Then he, no adjustments at all. He didn't he said, give Zoo a lot of minutes. All he did was say, Kawhi, please save me. Paul George, please save me. Man, you can't. Man, the boys play 44 minutes, 48 Facts. minutes. Come on. Facts. They got one more down. Facts. Hey, uh, Herm, what you, you, had, you got a question for Clipper Dara? Uh. Well, you asked you you asked him a lot that I wanted to ask him, but salute to your clip of the world, man. Uh, appreciate you showing love to Moot because he had, he won the down halls that represent the Clippers all year, man. So salute to you, brother. And you want brave, it. you want brave brother too for cheering for the Clippers for all them years, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but Moot, you basically asked asked him all the questions that I wanted to ask him, though. Um, uh-huh. And he basically said it because I, I feel like the Grizzlies can compete, can match up with y'all the best, even even with Kawhi. But I think Kawhi would be the difference maker. But I do feel though the Grizzlies probably can match up better with y'all because they athletic, they play defense, they play tough. That's the one team I do see that could that could match up with y'all though. I don't know what's your thoughts on that, but I do feel like they can compete with y'all if y'all fully healthy. AKA, hey, can y'all disconnect him, please? <laughs> Thank you. Please. please get him out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey. Thank you. Get him out of here, bro. What are we doing? Get him out of here, bro. 
Much, much love I'm to you, though, baby. Much love. Yeah, it's, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't trying to yeah. hear that, man. <laughs> he come, hey, hey Clipper there. He come up here every day hating on us, talking about Memphis could beat yeah. us, and, and we, we not gonna get out the first round. And uh, he got, they, they, and you know they call us LA strippers on YouTube. They call us LA. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm waiting on. Hey, what I'm waiting on though, man. I'm waiting. I I think we're gonna lose on purpose to do the AC so we can play the winner of the ninth and the tenth, so we can play the the, the Phoenix Suns. I think. If we play the Phoenix Suns in the first round, it's a wrap. <laughs> you think so? I was huh? telling hey, y'all the same that's, thing. That's who I want to play. Remember, remember the way I said we get them out the way early? We, bro, that's, that's it. That, man, man, I man, think, and I know we can beat them. The I know we can beat them. I know uh -huh. we can beat them dudes, too. All right, we can beat Phoenix, bro. Yeah, Kawhi, man, I know we can beat them. Tell them, clip a dirty dude, man. We be holding it down on her, man. Right. Man, they, what they, they, they know hey, what state? What state y'all in? What state y'all in? I'm, I'm in, in Dallas, Texas. I'm in, I'm in, uh, Florida. Uh, see, uh, Showtime, where you in? Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. Okay. I mean, hey, what, hey, Dallas, hey, hey, why they call you? Why they call you Showtime? That's, That's not my came up with. Um, cause I got a I, I mean, I started YouTube a long time ago. I just, um, uh -huh. I don't know. It just came to my mind. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I ain't want to spell. I ain't want to spell it the same way as Showtime. So I just put up instead of T I, I put a T Y, and just write okay. it. I don't know. And oh, then, you thought you was Magic Johnson? Huh? You thought yeah, you was Magic Johnson? It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You, 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 hey, you, oh, yeah, you was on it. DJ in her. You hey, was on the point guard, huh? Yeah. Hey, look, hey, is, BJ, is, hey, BJ, you got a you got a question, I'm, BJ? I'm gonna tell you what. Yeah, it is. what's good, fellas? When the when lights is bright, I show up, man. That's all. What up, BJ? What's going on, baby? Hey, bro, shout out. You know what I'm saying? West, West, LA, you know what I'm saying? Got a question for you, bro. Talk What's the... I know we got the Clippers winning the whole thing, bro. Fully healthy. I know Mook is on the board and show and um, see here on the same board with me. They gonna win the whole thing, but if you had to nitpick, what's one adjustment you think the Clippers have to fix? Because um, nobody's perfect. What's it, what do you think we gotta fix as far as um, going into the playoffs to really like you know what I'm saying tighten things up. That's a good. Question. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Question, you know, you know what I've you know what I've learned having Jerry West at the at, as our consultant. Don't question none of them. And watching what Tyron Lou, watching Tyron Lou, you know, make his adjustments. And I don't, I don't feel we, we, you know, he knows what we got to do. Having and we got a great bench. Like having them three guys back, if Kawhi comes back mm -hmm. with Norman Powell and Paul George and that and that bench we got, nobody can touch us, man. We got a guy. And I don't feel like we need to make like like I'm I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. If if they, if Kawhi don't come back this year, I want the same team back next year. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. 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 That's a fact. That's a fact. I de I, I definitely want. To. We got to resign yeah, Roku. What you what you what you think on Zoo? Because I think Zoo is a little bit inconsistent, man. What what you got on Zoo by Visa Zoo by? You been getting on I, I, I love I love Zoo. I love Zoo. Right. But what happens is them, Zoo, but, but, them big bodies, them big bodies. He ain't used to man because he he you gotta feel he's Euro. So he's used to step you know shooting up, going to the baskets and stuff like that. So it's a little bit different for him. So. Mm -hmm. But I think I think this summer he's gonna get in that weight room though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely gotta get in the weight room, man. Uh tonight uh they said the Clippers have clinched the play in spot. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh tonight's game was 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 uh was disappointing because I feel like we did everything we could to win, just these foul calls, man. Uh I like Mark uh you know, Tyron Lou getting Marcus Morris involved early. But yeah. thing it was not enough, man, for us tonight. Um, yeah, but uh, you know, on to the next one. Who we got? Milwaukee next. Well, we got yeah, Milwaukee that's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, we got the Milwaukee. So you know, we should be able to you know fight hard and hopefully get it. Are we at home? Are we at home in Milwaukee? No, no we're gonna be. In Milwaukee. Oh no, we we in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we you going to, you're not going to that one, is? No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm staying. I'm not I'm not going I'm not gonna go on the road until uh until the playoffs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so we, That's so, smart. So the NBA, so the NBA finals, huh? We ain't going out to the you know what though? I might, I might do the play in though. I might do the play in. 
Yeah, the play ain't gonna be lit. Yeah, yeah, because because it seems like we're gonna play Minnesota, so I'm gonna I'm uh I probably give me a play. I'm gonna I'm uh I'm gonna see what these flights is going out there because I don't think it's as cold as it was before because it's April. It'll be April. Yeah, you know, man. You know, Patrick Bell gonna play his heart out against us. Yeah. Hey, yeah, man, man. I don't care what Patrick Beverly do, man. He the enemy. He the enemy on 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 that night. Yeah, he's on the opposition. <laughs> he on a, he's he he on the opposition, man. Uh, Paul George, Paul Paul George, Paul George the other night, come back. Well, he was well, he was uh, well, he was out for what two months, three months, something like that. Ah, Kawhi, he was out like three, four months. Oh, Paul George, PG was out for like three to four months, right? Yeah. Uh, So he was out three, four months. He came back, dropped thirty-four. I don't think nobody ever do that. It did that in NBA history, man. For him to drop 34, 34 points against against the um. I guess the Utah Jazz down twenty three again against the Utah Frauds. You know what I'm saying? And for him to play out his <laughs> mind defensively and offensively to hit big buckets for us, man. Uh, what was your yeah, that comeback? That? That, yeah, that comeback was unbelievable, man. I you know unbelievable again, man. Yeah, yeah. I brought friends and the family to the to the uh, to the game that night, man, and they was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's like when we dab, bro. It's like you you can never count us out, man, because we gonna we gonna make a run. We're gonna lock in defensively and we're gonna get stops and we're gonna hit big, big, big shots, man. Uh closing lineup, fully healthy, closing lineup. If you had to make a closing lineup in the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? Game seven. We need a bucket and a stop. What lineup you going out with, man? With the Clipper team fully healthy. Man, I, I you, you got to go with we got we got to go with trifecta, man. So we going with Kawhi, Paul uh-huh. George, and Norman Powell. I gotta I gotta bring in Covington, man. Okay, and yep. uh, man, uh, one, one more. I, I love I love the tw- I love twin. I love twin, but I gotta go with my man. I go I gotta go with my man. Uh, he's my MVP all the time, man. Terrence man. Terrence man. Thank you. Thank you. Terrence, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, man. I call him Terror Man. Yeah. I hey, call him Terror Man. Hey, did, did y'all hear Reggie Yeah, I talk I talked to his mom. I talked to his mom once a week, man, and she's unbelievable, man. You because you know his mom was a coach, man. She's a coach in the in the WNBA. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I talked to her. I, 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 I um we back and forth the other day. Yeah, I, I like Terrence yeah, Man, mom. Her, her other yeah, she is, she's um, real cool. Her other son go to um where he go to? I forget. He, he go to a D two school. Yeah, yeah. She be watching yeah. both of their games at the same time. She not at the game. Ain't, right ain't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She a super like she's a real basketball mom. I, I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, it, Reggie Jackson yeah. said in the post game that um, Kawhi Leonard known Paul have remained vocal while out. He added, "When they get back, we'll welcome them back with open arms." Oh, oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't, well, I mean, what you gonna say? What you gonna say? You ain't. <laughs> hey, hey, if Kawhi come knock on your door right now, are you letting him in or not? <laughs> man, man, come come yeah, on, man. man. That's, that's easy. Yeah, man, it's easy. Yeah, hey, I, I just want to shut these dudes up, Clipper. Down. I'm tired of them talking. You know, I'm tired of talking. Hey, what we do, what we what we do, we get back on during the playoffs, man. I'm coming back on, and uh, uh-huh. right, we're at the end of the season. Let's talk again mm-hmm. at the end of the season, and we gonna we oh, gonna yeah. talk before that before that playing game. Yeah, sure. yeah, man, for sure, right, man. Okay, man, I sure sure. appreciate your time, man. We appreciate Real you, man. Real learn. talk, man. Salute, man. Salute, clip. Salute, clip. Oh, no problem, man. I, I, you know, I'm saying, man. I respect. I respect. I respect, man. I, it's nothing but love from here, man. We all fans. Let's let's enjoy our team, man, and let's go get this chip, baby. We're talking. Don't bang. Yeah. Smoking like a, smoking like it's a real Clipper G, man. Facts. Hey, hey, we ain't going. We ain't. We ain't, we ain't going nowhere. Going nowhere. nowhere. We can't we be stopped, stop, man. man. We play 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 play. 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 Yeah, Hoss, Hoss, you say you you say you had a uh, question for Clipper Durrell because you, you yeah, yeah I got a question go, for Hoss. you, Durrell. Yeah, man, hey, hey, salute to you, Durrell. I respect the man. Yeah. He's been a diehard, everyday fan for so as many years as you have. And you said you only you only missed a few Clipper home games in that long time. Man, I respect you, man. You 
You're a real one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I got a question for you. Now, my my uh, one of my one of my family members used to follow the Clippers back in the day. One of, one of my uncles did, and he was a big Ron Harper fan. I just want your take on what you thought of Ron Harper on the Clippers, and and just what your thoughts on that. I love Ron Harper, but he never he never claimed to be a Clipper. He to this day he still don't he don't he, he still don't acknowledge being a Clipper. So okay, uh, okay. He he broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? But as a person, okay. I see him on the street. I show him love. You know what I'm saying? But you know okay. he can't. He, yeah, he, I, he wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how you felt about that because no one ever associates him with the Clippers. But I know he had a few years in his prime with y'all, and I just want to get your thoughts on. Him. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I I I enjoyed him playing, but you know he he didn't he he said he didn't like being there. You know I had a, I had a good conversation with him afterwards. That's why that's why I don't uh because see a lot of stuff that why people don't like certain things. See, because I, I I go in before I judge somebody, I make sure I hear it from the horse's mouth. I don't, I can't yeah. go with the media because the media only want you to know what, what they want you to know. So I go talk to the so source. And when we when we talk, you know, I can't tell you what he said, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I understand why yeah. he, he why he feels the way he feels. Okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 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 See, one thing one, one okay. thing you gonna learn about me, I don't, I don't, I don't kiss and tell. I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I talk yeah. to a lot of people, man. And he, I don't want you to spread the whole, yeah. He wants you to spread the whole bit. No, because, hey, man, you get, like you, this, you I don't want to get kicked out the club. You get kicked out the club, man, it's over. Stephen A got kicked out the club. <laughs> that's it. That's right there. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, hey, nah, Clipper Dad, you should always, you should always um keep it, keep it between you and whoever you, you talk to, bro. That's, how that's what I say. Mm -hmm. No, that's yeah. you know? stuff. You letting that stuff leak. I don't like all that in first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I appreciate it, man. You are, you a great guy, great humble guy, man. I always Salute, follow man. I always watch him on Instagram video. Appreciate uh, you guys, man. Much love to you guys, man. I hope. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, you can call me anytime to come on, man. No problem. All right, man. Uh, Salute, really man. Appreciate it, man. man. We appreciate Salute, you, man. baby. Salute, love, uh, Clip, Clip, uh, Clip, gang, it don't bang. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go, Clippers. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>